My name is uh, Sam Musoke. I came from Kenya uh, to Sana Hospital for treatment of multiple myeloma. Uh, I was diagnosed with this condition in September 2020. Uh, I was uh, on the way to South Africa for some other treatment when this was diagnosed. So uh, uh, the other treatments was postponed and uh, uh, I received, I started on chemotherapy in South Africa. Uh, I did this chemotherapy for six months and uh, then came back, came for review. I came back to Kenya. So I had the treatment uh, in South Africa for I think for one month, and then we came back to Kenya to continue with this with, with the treatment, which went on for six months. I was then reviewed in Kenya and. Uh, had to be in remission uh, uh, and recommended for stem cell transplant and, and I had the op option of going back to South Africa or coming to India but I, I chose to come to India based on my experience in South Africa before. Unfortunately, I could not come to India at that time because uh, COVID was at its height. So I had to wait. At that, that time, I went to the uh, United States of America. So in the, in the United States, I was reviewed in three centers and they all recommended that uh, I require stem cell transplant. Unfortunately, I could not do it there because it was very expensive. So I uh, had to wait until uh, uh, the situation of, of COVID in India settled. Uh, I, so my, I discussed with the, my doctors in Kenya, in Nairobi, and uh, they contacted, they advised that I come to uh, India and see specifically Dr. Dharma. Uh, so I, because I first came to, to India in March 2022, and by because of the long delay between between my last chemo, when uh, Dr. Dharma reviewed the, my situation, he found that the disease was still active, and recommended another set of chemo for three months. That was in in March, so I spent one month in in India and he recommended that I could f do the next two months back home in Kenya. So I went back, completed the, the remaining two months and came, and came back in June uh, 2022. Uh, Dr. Dharma and his colleagues reviewed the data and they found that I was in good shape for stem cell transplant. And this was started, I was, I was admitted to Sanaa Hospital on the 13th of June, 2022, straight from the airport. And uh, I was impressed because I thought this would take time but this 
I was well received at the hospital and the process was started straight away. So within one week, I was well advanced in the process, started by, by the initial review of all the data and the function, and then I was given medication to stimulate the stem cell ready for harvesting. I responded well to the stimulation and within four or five days I was ready for stem cell harvesting. This was done and they were happy with the harvest. It was more than what they expected. Uh, had a little each after the harvest uh, with some uh, breathing problem, but this was quickly attended to by the doctors and indeed their supporting team. And the process was only delayed for one day and after that we were able to continue with the, the, the chemo and then thereafter the transplant. Uh, they were, I had, because I'm a medical person, I knew ab about the, system, uh, the process and the possible side effects. And the doctors here were all uh, kind enough to point out what I should expect. But to my surprise and to, the, and to their surprise, um, I, 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 I suffered very, very few of those side effects. And uh, I thank God for that and they were able to attend to those minimal side effects effectively. So after one week, uh, during the first week after, si after stem cell transplant, I was weak as expected. I had some nausea and uh, my appetite was bad, but we were able to work through this with the, with the doctors, the nurses were very supportive, and the dietitian who was kind enough to come every day and tag along with my appetite. And after one week, I started, my appetite started coming up, and I was able to eat whatever I was allowed to at that time. I we uh, continued to follow the progress and this was very encouraging according to the doctor that my, my counts went down as expected and then came up if, if even faster than they were expected. So the response was good, everyone was excited me inclusive and my wife who has accompanied me all through and uh, up to this stage uh, I've been comfortable the, the auxiliary services have been good up to housekeeping uh, um, IT staff Everything they would, if there was any mistake, they would quick, any complaint, they would quickly come. They would even come in the middle of the night to fix if there was any problem. So this was this system is running very well. I know it is uh, the, uh, in their early stages, but they are managing their teething problem very well. Probably if one is not told, one would not know that uh, this is, uh, you know, this is the starting, you know, starting stage. So I wish to express my gratitude, sincere gratitude, 
to Dr. Dalma and Dr. Davia and the rest of the doctors whose names I can't remember, you excuse me. The nurses who are all, are all been very friendly, very supportive. I kept on forgetting their names because the names are not familiar to me, but they would, they would kindly remind me. And uh, the, all the housekeeping staff, and they were all very supportive. And I'm very, very grateful. And I wish the hospital and the staff and the doctors great success in their endeavor in the future. I would certainly recommend this institution to my other colleagues who would be maybe with the same diagnosis or even other diagnosis that I know can be handled here. Um, I think uh, I would also like to uh, express my gratitude to other members of, of the hospital, those that uh, do not come directly in contact with me, the financial department, the pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical department, uh, and the other staff of the of the of the of, of the kitchen that have been doing a great job to help me recover my appetite. Thank you very much. May God bless all your work and bless this institution.